Hello, we are going to be making the security cameras. I will have another part where we use 3D models, animations, and other effects to make this system look better. But with this, we are going to just have the Five Nights Freddy's camera system. Here is an overview. You play as the player, you can hover down on the red to go into camera mode and select between the camera. Once we get a map going, we can replace it with images. Alright, now on to the actual tutorial. Let's start by adding a folder to store our security camera in. In here, right click, select blueprints and create a blueprint actor. We can then add a camera component to this actor. In a future video, we will add a static mesh. For now, in the event graph, delete all. We need a custom event, called switch camera. This is the only function needed here. This will mean we can view this camera. All we have to do is get player controller and do a set view target with blend. and the new target would be self. Next, we want to go to our player, and add two variables. We want to make the first one a boolean, which will be cam mode, this will depend on if we are using cameras or not. Next, we have a camera array variable, this is going to be of type security cameras, and make sure to select it as an array. This will be where we list the cameras the player can switch between. That is pretty much done, we just need to give it a user interface. Let's start off with a camera button. Right click and create a widget. Name it W underscore camera button. This widget will be used to switch between cameras, we can use this one button for them all and create some sort of security map. In order to do this, make sure that the fill screen which is at the top right, is changed to desired. Next, delete the canvas panel, we need to do this so. We can easily use buttons without creating word spaces, user interface collisions and sizes. Next at top left, search for a button, you can drag it into the widget, and it should be a square. We can then adjust it and color it however we want, in order to change its color, choose background color. Next we need a text, this will be indicating the player of which camera number we are about to view from. I will make some small font adjustments and remember to rename this as camera text. Also, make sure to check the is variable box, we need this true so we can edit text in blueprint. In here, delete all except the event pre-construct. This pre-construct will update our text before we start the game in runtime. Here we will get our camera number text and set text. For the in text, put a format text node. We need to put cam, and then curly brackets. We will then get this input. Our input will be an integer variable. So on our left, make a variable called digit, and then make it an integer. Now drag the integer onto the graph and get it to text node. This will give us some settings on how to show our digit. Here is my setting. Pretty next compile and save, and go to our variable so we can set our default value as one and pretty important to make instance editable. It is so we can give each camera button we put a digit while we are in the widget editor. For now, look at our designer graph, our text instantly changed to cam1. Anyway back to our graph, click on the button variable and see the green buttons, use the on clicked event. Once, we click a button, we want to cast to our player pawn and remember to add get player pawn to our object. Next, we just get our camera array then do a get, and then drag out our integer variable which is the digit. We want to minus our digit by 1 because our cameras start with camera 1, but our arrays, every array starts with the number 0. This way if we use a minus 1, our camera number and our array will be synced. We want to also have an is valid node, this is so we don't crash or get any error message if we didn't have this camera in our world. If it is not valid, we can do a print string and say that there is no camera. But when it is valid, drag from our get, the blue return node and write switch camera. This function is what we did earlier in the camera blueprint. We also want to set our camera mode to true, now it is not necessary that we do it here, since we do this again when we create our security camera widget but it's fine as a precaution. Next, we will need the security monitor map which will have all our camera buttons to switch from. Add a widget, 
and open it up. We can do whatever design you want, I will do a grid for now as later on, we will get a map of the game and use, anyway, we can use a uniform grid panel, size it up, and then add in your cameras, to do that, search up your cameras in the top right, then drag them into these uniformed grids. As you can see, when you duplicate it, you see only one still, that is because they are all on top of each other for now. In order to change this, you must go to the right and see the rows and columns, this is where you assign where the buttons go. There are much more simple ways to do this like horizontal and vertical boxes, I just want to show other parts of Unreal widgets, it starts with zero and then you just have to move it by one. Now try it yourself for the next row, I will skip this part. On this camera widget I said to make the digits variable public earlier, that is because now you can interact with it here. This is how you will be deciding which camera is which. Ok that's this map done, we can just size it up. I am going to make a proper camera screen with effects in the next part. You can now go to your main widget and add the security camera here. You just have to anchor it to the whole screen. Hopefully you understand anchors by now, if not, comment below and I will help you. Anyway, now I have to adjust the Z order, this is because our camera widget has a canvas panel, if we do not adjust the Z order, then we cannot interact with all the other widgets. We need to interact with the hover buttons that controls our camera rotation. Next we need a normal button, this is what we use to hover to bring up our security camera and to go back to player view. With this button, design it however you like, but make sure to make this Z order to 2, you want this above the security widget otherwise, if your security camera widget is visible, then you won't be able to go back to player mode. Next, focus on the size and other parts of the button. At the moment, I am making sure that the widget is aligned to the center but just above using the Y as 1.2. Another important thing is to make sure that your security camera widget is hidden at the start, you can do this when you find the visibility tab, under behavior category. Ok, that's the widget done, we just have to give the camera hover button an on clicked event, if you scroll down this details panel, you can find the green buttons, click the on clicked event. First, cast to your character or pawn. Then you want to get the chem mode from the character class. This will decide if we go from player view or security camera view. We can use a branch to choose the right path, I will write some comments to say which way does what. Anyway, first let's do the true. Get player controller, then get the set view target with blend. Then the new view target is the cast BP player. I am now going to organize these wires. I create these small dots called reroute nodes, by double clicking these wires, think of them as extension cords. We now need to set our camera mode back to false and make the visibility of our camera widget to hidden. Now for the false, it is similar except we need to get the camera array, then get this type of node and call that switch function from here. What this will do is when we open up the camera widget, it always takes us to the first camera, since arrays start with zero, first camera is zero. Next, we do the same. Set the camera mode to true and make our widget of security camera to visible. Now our widget is done, all we have to do is place our cameras around the map. I will rush putting the rest of the cameras up. After they are all up, go to your character class. I forgot to make the camera array variable to public. After this is done, compile and save. Then go to your world, find your character and you should find something in your detail panel. It will be that array variable, here is where you list your cameras that you already put. If you don't have a character in the world, comment below, and I can help you assign cameras in other ways. We are pretty much done, test your system and see what happens. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, a new video will be up soon but I don't want to rush anyone. Please consider subscribing and sharing my content around. Thank you and see you later.